After playing Hotel Dusk, I was definitely curious about Sing's other DS adventure game, Trace Memory. And with the recent announcement of the remake, I guess this is the perfect opportunity to play it for the first time. While this game is known as Trace Memory in North America, in all other regions it's known as another code, Two Memories, it also canonically takes place in the same universe as Hotel Dusk in its sequel. Apparently, the designer for both games, Rika Suzuki, said she would have liked to have seen the protagonists from these games meet one another. Unfortunately, that never came to be. Trace Memory follows the story of a girl named Ashley Mizuki Robbins. On the day before her 14th birthday, she's arrived with her Aunt Jessica to the mysterious Blood Edward Island, where a father whom she thought was long dead is waiting for her. He also sends her a birthday present, a device called a DTS that just so happens to look like a Nintendo DS. Not long after they reach the island, Jessica suddenly disappears, leaving Ashley to look for her. Then Ashley meets a ghost boy around the same age as her, who's known only as D. It turns out that he doesn't remember his actual name, and that most of his memories are missing. So the two of them decide to team up and work together to find the truth of Ashley's family, and of who D really is. The gameplay primarily consists of your typical adventure game mechanics. You'll examine your surroundings and use various items to solve puzzles and progress to the story, including some that make creative use of the DS hardware. There are also a few puzzles that require you to take pictures of certain items and layer the images, which is an interesting idea. Other key items include DTS cartridges, which coincidentally resemble DS cartridges and contain messages from Astley's father. There are no game over conditions either, so there's no pressure in regard to making any wrong decisions. The only real complaint I have is that there were a few times where I knew an object would be important, but the game wouldn't let me pick it up until I found the puzzle it goes to. It's just a pet peeve of mine with these kinds of games, especially when there are seemingly other unimportant items I am allowed to pick up. Also, just like in Hotel Dusk, at the end of each chapter, you'll be quizzed on the events that just occurred. While this game definitely has its fair share of similarities with Hotel Dusk, it also has some distinct differences. There are no visual novel aspects, and unlike Hotel Dusk's varied cast of characters, Ashley only has her ghostly companion to talk to during most of her journey. Despite her frustrations regarding recent events, she's curious about her surroundings, and is filled with giddy excitement when she solves a puzzle. It's a far cry from the cynical, snarky grump that's Kyle Hyde. The art style of the characters have a contemporary anime design. While this looks fine while they're still, the mouth movements look a bit weird. It looks like their mouths are the only 3D aspect of an otherwise two-dimensional face. While this isn't a deal-breaker, it was still something I found hard to not notice. Most of the game takes place in the island's abandoned manor, which is fully rendered in 3D on the touchscreen from a top-down perspective. Each room has a great amount of detail, and really gives the impression of a grand home that was once filled with splendor. While exploring such a place does sound pretty creepy, especially with the knowledge that ghosts exist, I actually found it kind of relaxing, particularly with the non-threatening music. Lengthwise, the game is quite short, even for adventure games. It took me under 4 hours to complete it, which is less than half the time it took for similar games. When I first saw how short it would be, I was a little worried with how the pacing of the story would go. I actually found it to be pretty evenly paced, although I admit another chapter or two went up hurt. Still, it's an interesting mystery story that won't take you long at all to finish. While I did enjoy my time with this game, I must admit that I do overall prefer Hotel Dusk, and if it were my choice, I would have chosen the Kyle Hyde games to be remade, or at least for them to be remade before Trace Memory. However, I am still glad that Trace Memory is getting a second chance. The reads and graphics look very nice, and the voice acting for Ashley sounds very good as well. I'm also interested in seeing the new story elements and puzzles, and how certain puzzles might be adapted for the Switch. Plus, it's great that the sequel will finally be officially released in North America. And maybe if this remake is successful, we'll one day get to see Kyle Hyde again, whether that's in the form of a remake or a completely new entry. Maybe we'll even finally get to see Kyle and Ashley meet up, and perhaps solve a mystery together. After all, Rika Suzuki has said that she would like to revisit Kyle Hyde, and I think the two of them would have an interesting dynamic. Speaking of which, I should also mention that Suzuki has a new game in the works called Dark Auction, Hitler's Estate. This is another mystery adventure game, which also includes themes regarding the sins of the past, and how it affects those that live in the present, as well as what it means for the future. The game is slated for a 2024 release for the Switch and PC, and I'm definitely interested in seeing more from this one. In the meantime, however, I would definitely recommend trying the original DS Trace memory, especially with how different the remake is looking to be. Thanks so much for watching! 
If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click like and subscribe if you want to see more.